And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're talking about a game called TV Show. Very basically named here. Lots of people like watching TV, and people definitely tell me all the time how the endings and different parts of TV shows were not quite so good, and they could have written a better one themselves. Well, this game allows you to do so, along with everybody else, to make up basically a season, well, five episode season, of a TV show. This essentially is giving you creative tools for you and a creative bunch of people to get together, tell stories, and then try to remember what you said. Here's how it plays. So in this game you have three piles of cards, which are basically character, location, and events. There's 30 of each. You start at the beginning by basically getting a theme for your shows. What do we got here? A superhero medical thing. All right, fine. This is the main theme of the series, so great. Then you're going to draw some character cards here. So let's give these a shuffle so that's a little random. And Here's the two main characters of this. All right, so this is a superhero. This is, uh, so we gotta kinda give these people some backstory. So here we have uh, Don. Don is an extremely angry man. His life has been going terribly in all directions, and yet he has been taken under the tutelage of his neighbor, Mr. Smith. That's a very, very mundane name. There might be more to Mr. Smith than meets the eye. But Mr. Smith finds that Don has the power to heal people. But Don hates people so much that how is he going to be able to heal people? So you have your characters here. And then we start five episodes. So in each episode, wh whoever's turn it is, and you'll pass this around to keep track of whose turn it is, turns over one of these three cards. So, okay. So here's an event that happens, pregnant. So Don meets his neighbor, Betty, and Betty's pregnant and ready to burst, but then she goes into labor. This happens in the very first episode of the season. He doesn't know what to do, and so he grumblingly holds her hand, and the baby just like pops out and is delivered immaculately, practically, and it's like, what, how did that happen? And so he wonders. So whenever I do this, I have to give some details. So I said her name was Mary, and she was pregnant, and the baby came out perfect. There wasn't even any blood. So then the next player will turn over one of the remaining cards, maybe turn over location. Don is really kind of scared by everything that happens, so he decides to go on a cruise. And the cruise line is going to Jamaica, where he is trying to get away from his problems. And on Jamaica is where he meets Mr. Smith. And we turn over the next one. Meanwhile, this is Emily Susan who is from the government, and she finds out about Don's abilities, and so she is going to try to stop him and take care of him. The next player then will start episode two, drawing one of the cards for episode two, and so on and so forth. And you'll be making up this story as time goes by. After three episodes, each player is going to ask the player to their left a question. They can ask any question they want about what they've done. If that person is correct, both players will get one point. If that player is incorrect, it goes to the next person to answer the question, and if that player is correct, both players get two points, and then the next person three or whatever. If nobody gets the question correct, no one gets points at all. Each person asks one question. You then play cards until there are five episodes, ask the question again, award the points again, and there you have it. Most points is the winner of the game. Okay, the token for points are okay, and I do like the different genres here. They have some nice little drawings here, so that's good. Not as thrilled with these here. These are very clearly stock pictures of whatever. They're just stock pictures. You can find these on the internet. They look like stock pictures, and I guess they work for this situation. And they picked a wide variety of people, but... I don't know, it just when you turn these over, you're like, it's a stock picture. This isn't a character from a TV show. This is from one of those websites that sells these to people. There's also only 30 of each. And in a game that relies on storytelling, I know that it's expensive to put more cards in. Why not have 100 of each? Games are going to repeat themselves fairly quickly, I think, just because there's so few cards. And you're going to be saying the same things 
over and over and over again. I, a game like this, the more the events that happen in it, the more it's going to be interesting and unique. So I just feel like there's not enough cards in the game. Yeah, okay, this isn't really a game. This is, you know, an activity of sorts. Sure, there's a game and asking questions and stuff, but it's like two questions is the game. The game is essentially telling the stories and getting together. If I was a teacher, I would definitely use this in a classroom situation. So my biggest problems with the game is just, frankly, how little is in here. There's 90 cards that are used over the course of this game, and if you play more, and I feel like, again, like they were pulled off internet stock footage, and so I'm like, well, couldn't I just do this game on my own then? Yeah, I feel like there's not a whole lot of proprietary stuff about this, and I would like to see a little bit more, maybe, like, this feels like this game could have used some artist to come up with some really cool ideas. You know, like Dixit and other games like that, and just have some, some pictures that were very open to interpretation, and I think I would have liked it a whole lot more then. As it is, I still enjoy it. If you look at one of our Testing Tuesdays, I believe the one that was recorded on May uh, 14th, 2019, you can see us playing a, a copy of this. And we had a good time, right? Because we're making up ridiculous stories. And the rule book's like, yeah, you don't have to make it too complex. Just, you know, say stuff. Because the game's going to be more fun with people who are creative. But we made up silly, ridiculous stories. And it was fun. But it was fun because of the players and not because of the game. And I could have just said, let's make up a ridiculous story, a TV show in a car. And we could have gone around and done the same thing. This was kind of just like a little bit of a lubricant to keep things going. And I'm not sure it's enough that I would want to go out of my way to buy a copy of it. I think it could have been greater with a lot of cool artwork put in there and more of it. And even then I would have said, it's a great activity, not necessarily a great game. But as it is, sure, if you're a teacher, I would pick this up maybe as a, uh, an educational thing to do once in a while. Other than that, though, I don't know. It's, it's okay. Dice Tower Judgment, not really a game, but a fun activity, especially for like drama classes.